this is where Dong Tam, where we flew into, and uh, this is our division base camp. And this is the company headquarters. Uh, most of you remember that, that was there. Alpha's Aces. Can somebody read what it says underneath that? Killing is our business, and business is good. That kind of shocked me whenever I turned 60 and went back and did that. <laughs> Here we are getting ready to go to the field and uh, all loaded up. Uh, Lee Ming, I think, wasn't it? I think so. And this I pulled off the internet. It's uh, uh, where Fire Base Schroeder is located. It was named Schroeder. Uh, initially it was Dirk, but it was named after Lieutenant Colonel Schroeder, uh, uh, who was killed. And this is a picture that was in the Octafoil magazine that I lifted off. The, the one on the right uh, is uh, Colonel Schroeder. And this was the first thing I saw whenever I arrived there. Immediately to the right of this bunker is uh, the entryway into Schroeder from the uh, chopper base. That was the second platoon bunker. <laughs> What's that up on the, the, the What do you say? What's that up on the right there on that stake? That's a Claymore mine that is up there. If you see a white uh, line coming from that, they were daisy chained together. And uh, that's so that more than one of them can go off at once whenever you fire them. And we had the, the hand pieces back in the bunker. Once again, this is fire base. I think that's the battalion headquarters or, or company headquarters. <clears throat> Another one from the area. I think it's the mess hall. Yeah. This is the closest thing to a USO show that I got to see. I, didn't go into <clears throat> I tell them they brought in three old codgers and one draft dodger. You know. <laughs> There was this guy, and then there was a, a fellow from the uh, a TV movie called The Millionaire. Yeah, I remember him. And uh, he came there to our base, and he was real deep and wide and chubby, and, and he had a handkerchief in his hand, he had pat his face, and he was sweating, you know. And he was going around handing out checks of a million dollars worth of happiness. <laughs> <laughs> and we'd take him, look at him, and throw him in the air and walk away, you know, it just uh, crazy. This is our bunker, and I don't know who that is enjoying the suds, hot suds or whatever. This is one of Dan. I lifted several of Dan's pictures off of the internet uh, whenever I found the Donut Dolly page, but this is Dan. Yo, yeah. Billy. Got this one, Sergeant Lawrence and I. We, we were in an NCO Academy together at Fort Benning, and then I get to Vietnam and end up, of all places, going to the 9th Infantry. And then to A Company, 2nd, 3rd, 9th, who's there? <laughs> you know, Dick is. But then I go back to, uh, uh, you know, Schofield Barracks. Guess who's there? Dick is. <laughs> and then we're assigned, you know, go our separate ways, and we end up at Fort Carson, and I'm in one unit, and then this other unit messes up, and they need an E6 over there, and guess who they send? They send me, and guess who's there? <laughs> Dick is. I go ahead. Okay. <laughs> so here's outside the berm, the wire. That's me with the Oklahoma flag on the bunker. I was skinny one time. <laughs> me too. Here, this is our lieutenant. I pulled this off of his Facebook. So <laughs> this guy's place I took, and as I mentioned before, he went to the field. And whenever he went to the field, he carried uh, ammunition and hot beer. Right? That's all he, he carried. <laughs> uh, Sergeant Peterson, though, he was an excellent uh, call-in artillery. And he was decisive in his decisions that he made, and, uh, uh, and that uh, brought self-confidence in the rest of the troops. I knew I could never fill his shoes. This was our captain. Got this off of uh, the internet as well. Only picture I think I have of, him, of his face, I have several from his back. But uh, Captain Sherman Wilford. It was his letter that was read this morning to us. And he retired what? Brigadier General. Brigadier General. This is Don Jenkins. I got this off the internet. I don't know that I can remember meeting Don, but these were his awards that he ended up getting uh, uh, after, uh, it was almost two years after the event. And, uh, and here's uh, yeah, the car. <laughs> that's his colonel picture right there. So we are honored to be in his presence, folks. 
And this was the captain that we had that followed Wilford. Um, he was a, I believe, OCS prior to it as well. He hadn't finished college, so. And I don't know who that is in the 50 bunker that was next to our platoon bunker. Looking out of it. And this was at Schroeder. And I think it was on that breastplate right there where a mortar round landed. And I don't know if it was. These fellows are not. Uh, uh, Ed, do you know? No, I don't know. Okay. This is just outside the berm. And this award ceremony from the CIB. Somebody took a picture for me at that time. Is there a Bobby Barnett? What'd you say? Bobby Barnett, right in the front there. The guy he was from Alabama. From Alabama, Bobby Barnett. Dennis Ernest uh, uh, went through uh, ranger training. I did not know him, <coughs> uh, except when I arrived in the country, of course. And he was not at any of our reunions. And after the reunion was over, I started looking for who, who else could be a Dennis Ernest, you know. And so uh, I found him on the internet. I called up and left a message on his phone. He lived in a town south of Aurora, uh, Illinois. And, uh, and that night I got a call at the church. And it was Dennis. And they were talking. I said, where are you? What are you doing? He said, I'm here in Afghanistan. <laughs> and he was in a reserve that got activated and at our age, guys, and here he was. In I college. talked to him too one day. You talked to him as well? Yes. And uh, anyway, he planned on being here but had some uh, conflicts and was not able to make it. And uh, he definitely wants to see the rest of us. But that's going out to the pad there at Schroeder. And this is Dan's picture that uh, that he had sent uh, uh, to, one of, to the Donut Dolly website. Of course, it's uh, Greasy and Dan and, and uh, Thorne. Saddle up. We saw that a lot, didn't we? Yeah. Saw the mud a lot. This next one is Dan's picture that I got off of the internet as well. And uh, humping the boomies. We've been in contact that day. He said, I'm the RTO in the middle. The black guy behind me was killed in November 69. Really a great guy. This was taken by Larry Thorne. There's a little story that goes with that. The, the fellow right behind me there was Billy Ray Marshall. This is after we went up to the second and 60s, so this wasn't down at Truer. But This Billy Ray Marshall was killed. None of us knew it at the time, but he had a wife at home, and she was pregnant. And the, the reunion that we had la a year ago, back in Washington, D.C., this guy's son, who was born after he died, was at that reunion. So we all got to meet him, and he got to talk to us and find out who something was dad. That his was, name was, was Billy Ray Marshall. Yeah. Billy Ray Marshall was his name. That was quite a reunion. Um, this is crossing uh, one of the blues, but as you'll notice, I put an arrow down there. That's a, a Gary that was in the in the canal, so that if we fell off of there, uh, he could he get us because we're carrying so much weight. Pretty self-explanatory. Dennis Robson, these are some old photographs that I had that you could hardly see until I retouched them there, and at least you can kind of make them out. But man, he got along good with the kids, didn't he? Mm -hmm. Old Papa Son. This picture we took one day there, I don't know who that is. That's Ting with his back to us, uh, and I don't know who uh, the lieutenant was at that time, or who that was. But these, these guys, when we were talking to them, we didn't realize that they were the enemy. And then this guy sitting down here, uh, when we started examining things, they had their AKs underneath there and a lot of blasting stuff and uh, grenades and everything. Here they're all playing innocent, you know, but they were that's who they were. We, we uh, uh, somehow tied them up and called in a chopper and they took them out. This was interesting. We went into up by the Plain of Reeds, and uh, uh, 
as you can see in the background, it's all burnt off ground. When we landed there, started going into this little uh, little village area. Uh, the kids wouldn't even come to you and ask for chop chop. You knew it was bad. But I befriended the little girl here by the cooking pot. She's going to heat me some water so I can make hot chocolate. And there you see her mother, and behind there you can kind of see the silhouette of a little boy, a little boy that was sitting there. And down in the lower right hand corner, you see the pig in the house. <laughs> this was a fish trap that we that we were crossing the, the blue horn. There we are in Sam Pan. We always made Elledge go last because he had dump it. <laughs> <laughs> and speaking of Elledge, here's the 79. <laughs> so, you like that guy? And here's the uh, the outhouse, okay, but it really wasn't. I took this, it's blurry. We were inducing half going down the road, but I just couldn't resist, you know. <laughs> That's whenever splashdown took place. I mean, the car rolled in the canal, you know. <laughs> And that's blurry. I, I just took it going down the road. Arden Base, I don't know where that was. Vietnamese were pretty modest people, but even came and only stripped off and took their masks together. And I don't know who that is in the middle. What'd you say? What's Gary Frugal? I would recognize him as one of our platoon leaders sometime after Paul, maybe, but maybe not. Not sure. Now, who are these guys? I'm sitting down. You got uh, Richard Allen down there on the right hand side sitting down? I think that's him. Yeah, that would be Richard. Yep. And who's standing up? Can't remember that kid's name. He was in my squad. I can't remember his name. That is Richard Allen, okay. Yeah, so that's Richard sitting down there, pretty sure. Is that you, uh, Tom, with the Tiger Scouts? That's me. It's you, Dave? That's me. You know, these uh, people said the slides were just gone, you know, and they were able to adopt them and bring them back a little bit. I couldn't believe those bulls that hated us so much, you know. <laughs> uh, little kids could, could ride on them. I miss this. And, uh, uh, here they're carrying all that load and behind this man just walking along, you know. <laughs> yeah. And that's a hospital outside of Dong Tam somewhere. And I just took that call, that's one of the prettiest buildings I saw down Highway 4 there. You know. That's Shorty. Yeah. <laughs> Don't I look good in a mustache? Yeah. <laughs> and that's Gary on the right. <laughs> And who's on the left there? <clears throat> I'm not sure who those are. I have <laughs> They just grow wow. We, we cut off a stalk of bananas, green, you know, and bring them back and uh, throw them in the bunker and go out on a mission and come back and then they'll be ripe, you know, and they short stubby things, but had a lot of oil in them and tasted better than our bananas do. Can you believe a little kid like that go out there and herd these two buffalo, you know? Of course, his dad is probably a BC out working someplace. Yeah. Right? In the wet season. Look how much water, how high the water is on it. Yeah, you can see. Go see by time. Not right there, but look how wet I am all the way on up to the chest. You know, you've already been through it. Now there's Ranger your read. <laughs> we carried most of that stuff, but not quite like that. <laughs> there's a canal right beside the bridge that uh, we cross. And everybody has a picture of this church, I think. I was a big bird that I... Uh, Slides out of the picture. What was it about that church? So many of us had that same picture. Yeah. I mean, we really did. Yeah, yeah. I think it was a Catholic church, wasn't it? Yeah. Obviously, Christian. Yeah. 
<clears throat> I was told by somebody that could read it said that this was a like a Baptist church there in, in Vietnam. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think the first one that I showed, the yellow one was a, a Catholic church. This the uh, first dust off I think that I witnessed while we were there. I don't even know who it was. What's a dust off? That's when we call in a, a helicopter to lift somebody up that's been wounded, the Red Cross. The uh, medevac helicopter. Why do we call them dust off? Pick up dust off. Pick up dust off. Notice that, I mean, just has the one engine, and today, man, they really. This after Sergeant BB was killed, I, uh, I contacted some of the family and got hold of the sister, and I. Uh, I was going to talk to her and I asked her, how did Sergeant BB die? Oh, he died a hero. He was fighting this and that and they threw a grenade and it finally it killed him. And I didn't say anything. I just was kind of polite and hung up because most of you men know that there was one round fired the whole day and it hit Sergeant BB right in the forehead. I didn't tell her any different. This is from, from the chopper. Big city, I think that might be Saigon, I'm not sure. Here it is, that stand down. Hillbilly. Robinson in the background. Is Hillbilly missing a tooth there? I don't know. He had a gold one. He had a gold one? I think so. You remember that? Yeah, I think he did. I think he had that. I remember the recipe started with like a uh, uh, two gallon of tomato paste, uh, like a half a gallon of Worcestershire sauce, and a 24 pack of beer uh, <laughs> for the barbecue sauce. And it, it was, it was, you know, maybe it's because we hadn't had real food for so long, but it all tasted good. It looks good. And there we are uh, eating it up. BB and uh, Andy Anderson, and who was the captain's RTO? Tall guy there. Key. Uh, I said it's key. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and who was this lieutenant over here? He was lieutenant of, uh, of um, what was it 3rd platoon or blonde haired lieutenant there? Yeah, I don't remember. Look at how far uh, Sherman is over the net. Got a whole oh, and his foot going almost through the net. <laughs> Remember, jungle rules basically meant that you could slug them through the net. <laughs> <laughs> Jim Malloy was, was uh, Sergeant Malloy. Yeah. 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 Jim Malloy was, was uh, a wild man at that game there. And that's the first time I ever heard the word, word jungle. I said, Lieutenant, what do we play? You know, jungle rules mostly, jungle rules. <laughs> <laughs> and it didn't take you long to find out what they meant. <laughs> These were two of the gals that worked there in the mess hall. Awful solemn troop there. Look at these kids. Look at that dude in the middle. <laughs> <laughs> let, let, me, let me just call your attention to something. They're all kids, but look in their eyes. <coughs> look in their eyes. Well, there's a strike, too. <laughs> <laughs> These are the cobras, loches. Mm -hmm. That's just a gunship. Uh, here. Snook. Whenever we started to stand down, they took us to the ships, and uh, we were on the ships until they brought us back out. Kept us out there and reorganized. The guys that were short got to go back to Hawaii, the ones that weren't. They ended up sending them to a different unit up at uh, Tan An. These are guys that would tie up their their boats to the main big ship and uh, then go out. Sitting on a 
and all of that. Mm -hmm. They were there when we were getting ready to leave. And here, uh, as uh, some that Dan took, I think it's Dan. Is this your picture, Dan? I, it might, no, I don't think so, but. Maybe I got this off of her uh, website. I'm not yeah. Sure. This might be an Emily that was on the uh, Austin City Limits. Yes, yeah, so that, that's right. That's the one. I probably got it off of hers. And there's our band telling them us to get lost. So. <laughs> Big bird home. And in Okinawa. And uh, all of us that were walking wounded, we went in there and they had a, all kind of things to take care of you. But we landed there, but then we were getting ready to leave. And uh, here's a TWA plane over there on the other side. And there were a bunch of Marines that were on their way over, and they walked in, we're all screaming at them, short, short, you know, <laughs> give them a hard time. And we landed in Hawaii. And as we drove down the roads there, I mean, the buses were just, we landed to kick them. And then as we went down uh, Waikiki Beach and and everything and saw that, I mean, you could hear a pin drop on the, on the bus. We were just almost in shock. And and then we uh, ended up going here at the Schofield Barracks, and it was beautiful, you know, just, uh, we never seen anything like this. I mean, basic training or, or even uh, what we had done at Fort Benning was nothing like Schofield Barracks. It was beautiful. And the environment was there oh so nice. And, and that kind of a rig over there behind it, that's where I got to go here, the fifth dimension. That was the highlight of my time in uh, Schofield Barrett. So. <laughs> and there's Lawrence. I just stuck that one in there. <laughs> uh, we need to send that home to his kids, don't we? <laughs> and then my dad came back in that underneath the Golden Gate, and we flew over it and landed in Oakland. That's it, folks. All right.